since 1928 when the first television set was sold to public the TV has been a part of every family it has created many memories connected people together and made us cheer over our favorite sports team however with emerging of internet giants such as YouTube Netflix and Amazon Prime things have changed for conventional and traditional TV channels to clarify I'm not talking about TV sets but rather the traditional and conventional television that many of us have raised with it you can still connect YouTube and Netflix to your TV set and enjoy their contents by your TV screens the new generation of people however has been raised with the time YouTube and Netflix started to become spotlights of content creating. Anyone can start a channel on YouTube and make his or her own videos. You can find your favorite content and video by typing a couple of words on the YouTube search bar and access to a sea of free content. There is so many video categories and channels in YouTube that every single person can find his favorite topic in a matter of seconds. In contrast, when it comes to TV, you have to watch whatever is being shown to you at that moment. You might like to watch a particular movie on a movie channel, but a movie that is shown on the channel is not what you like to see. However, with Netflix in this case, you can easily choose a movie that you want to watch without any hassle. Other problem that makes it harder for a conventional TV to survive is customer orientation. With YouTube, its strategies and structures mostly hover around content creators, viewers and third parties, which want to advertise their services and products. But in TV channels, the only concern is to get advertisements and show whatever content a channel would like to show to viewers. Moreover, monotony is another hurdle that makes it hard for people to watch TV channels. You have to always go through series of political programs, advertisements and news to finally would be able to see your favorite movie, program or a TV series. And still you have to tolerate bombardments of commercials in every 5 to 10 minutes of a movie, documentary or TV show. Who wants to sit for two hours to watch a 20 minutes TV show? Additionally, television is often used to brainwash the masses. I do not claim that YouTube and Netflix cannot do that. What I am saying is that the TV channels are structured in a way to change people's mentality and behavior to accept and refute topics that might be good or bad in nature. Of course, you can watch a YouTube channel that does the same, but at least a person has a freedom to watch or not watch that particular channel and topic. According to the studies by PwC and Deloitte, by the year 2021, more than 80 million people in US will cancel their cable channel subscriptions. The studies also revealed that in 2017, young American adults between 18 and 24 watched on average less than two hours of TV programs daily which shows a yearly decline. Subsequently, these changings in TV viewers have caused companies to switch most of their attention from television advertising to digital commercials on the internet. According to a study done by PwC, quote, digital advertising revenues continued to climb in 2017, rising 21% to $88 billion in the US, end quote. This is the first time that digital ads outmatch the TV advertisements. Having said those, TV is still the part of many households and it will take some time for TV to be replaced by the popular content creating pl platforms. Many people who were born before the internet became popular would find television interesting. The attraction of TV has not yet lost for many people. They see television as the beginning of their magical life, the life that conjoined and linked them with people they had not seen, the places they had not gone, and to secrets they had not discovered.